Hi everyone, Elon Musk is mad at me. This is Worst Journalist of the Year, Don Lemon, Worst Journalist of the Year. This iconic nickname stems from the only award for journalism Don Lemon has ever won, for real. And it was now 10 years ago, a full decade since the Columbia Journalism Review. The people currently taking their kids to Drag Queen Story Hour slapped the lower half of his face up on their homepage above an article that removed his previously upstanding reputation through his anus. No idea why just the lower half of his face either. I guess that is the moneymaker. So just what were Columbia Journalism Review's 2014 major black marks against Lemon? Quote, he asked guests whether Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 could have been swallowed by a black hole. I know it's preposterous, but is it preposterous? He compared spanking children to training dogs and probed similarities between the release of U.S. Army POW Bo Bergdahl and the Showtime series Homeland. When an alleged Bill Cosby rape victim appeared on his show on November 18th, he asked, why didn't you just bite his dick off? Less than a week later, as protests turned violent in Ferguson, Missouri, he described the scene. Obviously, there's a smell of marijuana in the air. Lemon's job isn't easy, but he's earned a dart for going there. Obviously. So as you see, the Hall Monitors, a.k.a. priesthood of the religion that is the left, named him Worst Journalist of the Year because he was making them look bad. That's the context here. Since 2014, Don Lemon took these insults to be understood as instructions and went all in on the histrionic left-wing cat mom wino platform for which he was awarded, having destroyed CNN's brand along with Fredo Cuomo in ice big fat, you're fired. Which raises the question, how in the hell did Don Lemon get an interview with Elon Musk? Here's how. 1. Don Lemon became a toxic asset on CNN and was fired. 2. Don Lemon is nevertheless thoroughly owned and fully compliant, so there's a use for him yet. 3. Don Lemon is so stupid that he would clearly allow himself to be used again by the company that fired him for doing what they told him to do. This is the stage, as it should be understood, on which a supposedly independent Don Lemon, a resurrected Don Lemon, sat down with and quote-unquote interviewed arguably the most famous man on the planet. An interview whose giddy promo by Lemon most looked at and said, "Fucking what? Which is, I imagine, best explained by the educated assumption, why would Elon Musk ever watch Don Lemon? He just didn't know. And knowing is half the battle. The other half is violence. Make sure you watch it on Monday on YouTube and everywhere you listen to podcasts, and you can decide for yourself. On Wednesday, March 13th, 2024, just days short of the grand Monday release of the shiny new Don Lemon show on X, formerly Twitter, the Wajodi Don Lemon Wajodi found it wise to take to the streets and post this video in protest of, in an attempt to front run, the fact that Elon Musk had canceled the show immediately after experiencing its first production, the interview of Elon Musk. Musk complained, though he wouldn't have the details immediately at hand, it was deduced that the billionaire Tesla and now Twitter mogul wasn't thrilled with what he deemed to be a wholly unprofessional, adversarial, and flat-out retarded symphony of lies and transparent attacks. Something Beethoven might have made if instead of being deaf, he just didn't have any brain at all. An opera, where instead of music and a story, you get the wet slapping lip sounds of a walrus on meth as it is actively being sucked into the propeller of a Chinese whale poacher, punctuated by ragged exhales that reek of svedka and loneliness. And the story reads exactly like the sexual assault charge against Lemon, since dropped because the victim had a sudden loss of memory. Here's Elon Musk bet the proverbial bar of life he sees recently fired and thus heavily discounted Don Lemon and says, Hey Don, you're not doing anything, then I need some content for my new platform. Want to try a show on X? Band Worst Journalist of the Year, Don Lemon, Worst Journalist of the Year, shoves his hand down the front of his pants that weren't too tight a year ago, finger mines his cheese cave, withdraws what is now probably better understood as the smegma claw of olfactory doom, band rubs it under Elon's nose while shrieking, pussy or dick, pussy or dick. It turns out, like literally every Don Lemon story everywhere and forever, this little Starbucks confessional left out what we will here refer to as important details. Those details are the cheese on the grope knobs where most people usually just have fingers, the demands Don Lemon was rubbing under Elon's nose that, hey, no big deal, he wasn't going to mention in this tried and true victimization monologue because they kind of put a different spin on the situation. Friday, March 16th. 
two days after Starbucks and still two days before the show airs. I went into this with my eyes open and I, look, this is just an old saying in the South and they say you knew I was a snake before you picked me up Yeah. because it, he knows who Don Lemon is. Mm -hmm. He knew who I was. Mm -hmm. He asked me to come on the platform. Mm -hmm. He offered incentives mm -hmm. and money. Mm -hmm. And Not they, were, they were basically begging you to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. they were. <laughs> Excuse me, Don, a few points here. First, the snake example. Weirdly honest. I don't know if that was your intention. I don't think it was. But regarding Musk and X offering you incentives and money and then canceling their contract with you, which you've been complaining about, a story just came out mentioning that in order for you to take your show, I would say you're failure of a show, but we will see. To X, you demanded, I gotta pull up the list, a free cyber truck, a five million upfront payment and an eight million salary, an equity stake in X, right to approve any changes in X policy as it relates to news content. A private jet fly to Las Vegas. Climate, remember, climate. X covering for your day drinking and your massages. A suite for you and your fiance. And to host the first podcast in a space via SpaceX. And again, while you've been complaining about them canceling your contract, these are the things that you've been hiding. But again, you are Don Lemon, a spoiled activist journalist who even got dropped by fake news, CNN, so I'm not surprised. Elon Musk tells Don Lemon, quote, contract is canceled, end quote. Now, in a moment, I'm going to speak exclusively with Don Lemon, and he has clips of the nearly hour and a half interview with Musk. Clips like this one that we received from Don's production team. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, I would not do interview with this interview. So you don't think, you, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that there constantly. Was... I could care less. Now, CNN reached out to X for their comment, and their response is... This decision coming as Musk had, of course, publicly courted Lemon and has repeatedly made a commitment to free speech when he bought Twitter again and again and again. Well, I think it's very important for uh, there to be an inclusive arena for free speech uh, where all... <laughs> so, yeah. Again and again and again. And remember... And it becomes apparent, if you, like me, were wondering where the hell CNN was going with this free speech angle, that this colossally moronic hand puppet whose big break was Don Lemon getting fired, we are talking talent level that rides the pine because the starter is Don Lemon, this hoop earring propagandistitude actually thinks that free speech and a commercial contract with X are the same thing. She is serious. 
That's why she played all those Elon Musk quotes. She actually thinks she just made some kind of point. And she has. So, Don, um, you do this 90-minute long interview mm -hmm. with Musk. Uh, you sit down with him. This is the culmination. He had actively courted you to come on one of his tweets. Have you considered doing your show on this platform? Maybe worth a try. Audience is much bigger. Mm -hmm. It had been public. Then you had uh, reached a deal. I'll talk about that later. Uh, then he texts 24 hours after this 90-minute long interview, which is the first of your show launching. Yeah. He says, contract is canceled. What happened? That's it for today. I'm John Ward, and until next time, remember, you're a world champion. Don't let your memes be dreams.